from that this lecture is chapter 3 okay, so uh, for chapter 3 we will be learning about gas power cycle okay so chapter 3 it will be uh, gas still gas power cycle okay but now it is uh, external combustion engine okay so just recall uh, in chapter 2 uh, we have uh, learned about uh, internal combustion engine which is uh, uh, basically part of gas power gas power cycle okay so for the internal combustion engine uh, we have learned about uh, uh, spark ignition engine okay and then uh, uh, compression ignition engine okay and then uh, basically for this external combustion engine uh, the way we analyze uh, the pressure the temperature the volume is uh, quite similar to the internal and uh, to the internal combustion uh, combustion engine okay so as i mentioned before for the gas power cycle uh, we focus on external combustion engine and and uh, this normally for uh, producing, let, let's say for the gas power plant, okay, gas power plant. And then uh, for uh, propulsion system, aircraft propulsion system. Okay, so uh, this is uh, uh, the application for the external combustion engine for uh, which is for gas power plant and then aircraft propulsion uh, system. Okay, so gas power plant means that uh, producing electricity. And then for the aircraft propulsion system producing thrust. Okay, uh, producing thrust for the uh, for the aircraft. Okay, to 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 move the aircraft forward okay and then uh, basically for this uh, cycle it consists of uh, compress compressor okay and then uh, combustion where combustion process will be started and then um, uh, after combustion it will be uh, as um, it will be uh, expansion okay expansion uh, which is in turbine for the actual cycle turbine and then the last one will be the exhaust gas or power uh, power uh, power cycle okay so this is uh, the uh, device or cycle that will be involved in this gas power cycle okay so uh, it is uh, 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 similar to the internal combustion internal combustion engine okay so uh, uh, consists of compressor to compress air from uh, to compress air from low temperature low pressure to a very high pressure and then very high uh, temperature and then and, and then uh, this uh, pressure, this uh, high pressure and high temperature will enter the combustion chamber where in this, at this stage uh, the chemical energy, okay, chemical energy from the fuel uh, will be converted to mechanical, mechanical energy in a uh, turbine. Uh, turbine uh, uh, in this turbine uh, which is the third process okay and then turbine will drive the uh, the dry shaft okay drive the uh, dry shaft or and then uh, will produce the power okay so this is basically uh, the cycle for the gas power uh, 
uh, for a gas power cycle. It also uh, consists of four cycles, uh, 0.1 to 0.2, 0.2 to 0.3, and then 0.3 to 0.4, 0.4 to 0.1. Okay. So it, it is also uh, for this cycle, uh, we can define in terms of um, uh, uh, open cycle and closed cycle. Okay, so open cycle uh, for the actual cycle, basically it is an open open cycle. Okay, but for, for the analysis, we call it as a ideal, ideal uh, Brayton uh, cycle. So for the ideal Brighton cycle, we consider it is a closed, closed cycle. Okay, so I mean that uh, after uh, leaving the uh, leaving the uh, turbine, and then the air will uh, again circulate into the compression, okay, into the compressor. Okay, so this is what we call closed cycle, and then uh, this is normally for air standard assumption. OK, so uh, in order to increase your understanding uh, for gas power cycle, how the electricity and then how thrust will be produced by the compressor, OK, by the compressor and then converting the chemical energy and me into mechanical energy in the combustion chamber and turbine and then produce power. Uh, let's watch uh, this uh, video, okay, this video in order to increase your uh, understanding for, for, for this uh, uh, gas power, gas power cycle, okay. So uh, now I will share Okay, wait. Okay. Okay, so let's watch how the uh, gas power cycle is uh, working. Air, a lot of gaseous molecules floating all around us. It's great for breathing, and it turns out it's great for getting lights turned on. That's because air, along with abundant natural gas or other fuels, are the ingredients that combine in a gas turbine to spin the generator that produces electric current. If you follow the electricity you use at home or at work back through the power lines to your local power plant, you'll see that the process most likely starts with the work of the gas turbine the very heart of the power plant. First, air is drawn in through one end of the turbine. In the compressor section of the turbine, all those air molecules are squeezed together, similar to a bicycle pump squeezing air into a tire. As the air is squeezed, it gets hotter and the pressure increases. Next, fuel is injected into the combustor where it mixes with the hot compressed air and is burned. This is chemical energy at work. Essentially, this is what happens in your family car's engine, but at about 2,900 times more horsepower. Actually, it's exactly like the turbine engines on jet airplanes. The hot gas created from the ignited mixture moves through the turbine blades, forcing them to spin at more than 3,000 RPMs. Chemical energy has now been converted into mechanical energy. The turbine then captures energy from the expanding gas, which causes the drive shaft, which is connected to the generator, to rotate. That generator has a large magnet surrounded by coils of copper wire. When that magnet gets rotating fast, it creates a powerful magnetic field that lines up electrons around the coils and causes them to move. The rotating mechanical energy has now been converted into electrical energy because the movement of electrons through a wire is electricity. In what's called a combined cycle power plant, the gas turbine can be used in combination with a steam turbine to generate 50% more power. 
The hot exhaust generated from the gas turbine is used to create steam and a boiler, which then spins the steam turbine blades with their own drive shaft that turns the generator. What you end up with is the most efficient system for converting fuel into energy. And that's your GE Gas Turbine 101. Okay, so uh, that's how uh, the gas turbine engine is working. Okay, so uh, basically, uh, as I mentioned before, there are comp uh, compressor. Okay, to compress uh, air. Okay, to compress air to a very high pressure and very high temperature. Okay, and then uh, this uh, uh, air that that uh, high pressure and high temperature will enter the combustion chamber. Okay, will enter the combustion chamber where uh, the fuel will be injected to the combustion chamber and then uh, the combustion will start to. Okay, and then uh, uh, at this stage in the combustion chamber, uh, basically it will convert uh, uh, chemical energy energy because it is a fuel. Uh, fuel uh, plus fuel will be mixed with uh, high pressure uh, air and high pressure uh, temperature and then produce uh, a very powerful uh, power and then this will rotate the dry shaft for example and then this basically converting the mechanical energy sorry converting the mechanic uh, chemical energy to the mechanical mechanical energy and then uh, convert mechanical energy in the turbine turbine stage okay and then uh, this turbine will expand so it will uh, lower uh, the pressure the temperature will be decreased and then produce the produce the power okay so there is the basic um, idea how the gas turbine engine is uh, working okay so now uh, how to define uh, in terms of uh, uh, analysis for the uh, gas turbine engine. Okay, so as I mentioned before, it is very uh, common uh, for the gas power cycle. Uh, in order to do the analysis, we will be using uh, PV diagram and TS diagram. Okay, so PV diagram and also TS diagram okay so if uh, for the internal combustion engine we are working with uh, uh, r which is compression ratio v1 over v2 or for the uh, cutoff ratio for the diesel engine our compression compression initial engine which is uh, v3 over v v2 okay and then we can use this equation this relation for the isentropic process for the compressor and uh, for the uh, expansion for the turbine okay uh, normally for the gas power cycle for the gas turbine engine we will use uh, rp okay so rp uh, stand for pressure ratio which is uh, p2 over p1 or P3 over P, uh, P4. Okay, so this is pressure, pressure ratio. So in this chapter, we will be using pressure ratio instead of uh, volume uh, or instead of compression ataupun cut off, uh, cut off uh, ratio. Okay, so now uh, how to draw the PAV diagram and TS diagram. Okay. Now return to the actual and then to the to the ideal uh, closed cycle. Okay, as you can see here. Okay, so this is an open cycle for gas turbine engine, or this is for the actual, okay, actual gas turbine engine. So compressor uh, air will air will be compressed to a high, very high pressure and then very high temperature, and then this this uh, compressed air will be enter the combustion chamber 
where at this stage the chemical energy okay chemical energy uh, comes from the fuel okay come from the fuel and then mix uh, mixing with the uh, compressed compressed air and then the combustion will be happen in the combustion chamber okay so in this stage uh, at very high uh, at very high uh, pressure and then very high temperature so it will produce the power okay and then uh, at stage 3 to stage 4 uh, which is uh, where the pressure and uh, where the, the combustion where the product of combustion will be uh, expand okay will be expand okay will be expand in the uh, in the turbine okay and then uh, and then uh, the exhaust gas okay three to four and this is a uh, uh, turbine and then four to there are no four to one okay because it is an open cycle and then exhaust gas is where the thrust will be uh, will be produced okay there is work, work net okay work net is equal it is similar to the internal combustion engine which is q in minus q q out okay and then uh, in order to represent uh, the ideal cycle we come up with a closed cycle gas turbine engine or we call it is a bright uh, breton breton cycle okay so when we uh, we uh, we call it as an ideal okay, ideal closed cycle so mean that we have we need to use a standard assumption okay so for the air standard as assumption uh, instead of using combustion chamber okay instead of using a combustion chamber and then instead of producing gas uh, in the open cycle it is it will be it is replaced by the uh, heat exchanger or heat addition okay heat addition in the heat exchanger and then heat rejection in the heat exchanger okay so now one to two from point one to point point two in the compressor basically it is an isentropic compression process okay isentropic compression and then uh, point two to point three it is Q in which is heat addition at constant constant pressure okay heat addition at constant uh, pressure okay so heat addition at constant pressure or C CP uh, specific heat at constant constant specific heat at uh, constant pressure okay and then uh, after uh, two to three or uh, heat addition, three to four is expansion. Okay, uh, it is heat addition, and then this uh, air will be will be expand. Okay, this expansion is uh, happen in uh, isentropic expansion, which is in in turbine. Okay, three to four, and then four to one is uh, heat rejection. Okay, so heat rejection also at constant constant pressure. Okay, which is C C P. Okay, so in order to come up with a PV diagram or TS diagram, okay, so in order to come up with a PV diagram or TS diagram. So this is let's say TS diagram. Okay, TS diagram. Point one to point two, it is isentropic compression. Okay, isentropic mean that S one equal to S S two. Okay, so this is point one and point two. Okay, 
and then two to three is constant pressure heat addition okay so it is constant pressure heat addition so this is where q q in where the p 2 equal to p 3 because constant pressure heat heat addition and then 3 to 4 it is expansion in turbine okay asentropic expansion in turbine which is s3 equal to s4 and then air will again enter the compressor which is 4 to 1 where 4 to 1 is defined as a heat rejection or Q out also at constant pressure mean that P4 equal to P P1 okay so you now you can uh, you can uh, uh, conclude that for the gas power cycle or gas turbine engine uh, the heat addition and heat rejection both are happen at constant constant pressure okay compared to the diesel uh, compared to the spark ignition engine where heat addition and uh, heat rejection at constant volume but uh, and then for the diesel engine heat addition addition at constant pressure and then heat rejection at constant constant volume okay but for the gas turbine engine both heat addition and heat rejection at constant constant pressure so uh, we can easily draw the draw the ps uh, sorry pv diagram okay. pv diagram so that 0.1 to 0.2 is compression okay 0.1 Point 0.2 is compression and then point 0.2 because it's two heat addition at constant pressure okay so constant pressure okay and then two to three expansion process and then four to one heat heat rejection okay so heat rejection at constant constant pressure okay so this is pv diagram so this is q in and this is q q out okay so uh, to define the thermal efficiency it is still uh, you uh, let's refer to next page how to define the equation uh, for the q in and q out okay q in because it is at constant uh, pressure heat addition so cp t3 minus t t2 and then q out equal to also cp t4 minus t T1. Okay, and to determine the thermal efficiency for the Brayton cycle, it is Vernet over Q, Q in, or Q in minus Q out over Q in, or 1 minus Q out over Q in and then replace 1 minus Q out over Q in is uh, T4 minus T1 and then T3 minus T, T2. Okay, and then uh, rearrange this equation again. Okay, as you can see here, we can come out with a more simpler uh, equation for thermal efficiency for the Brayton cycle where. it is equal to 1 minus 1 over rp k minus 1 over over k power of k minus 1 over over k okay 
So this is how to determine the thermal efficiency for the Breton Breton cycle. Okay. So instead of RC or R compression ratio, now we come up with new R with new ratio, which is known as pressure pressure ratio. Okay. So pressure ratio, as you can see here, P2 over P1 is pressure ratio. P3 over P4 is also pressure pressure ratio. Okay. And then for the isentropic process for the compression or expansion, we can use this equation. Okay. So T2 over T1, TP equation, T2 over T1 equal to P2 over P1 power of K minus 1 over K, or it is also equal to P3 over P4 power of k minus 1 over k and also equal to t3 over t t4 okay so this is how we use the isentropy equation for uh, for for uh, for the gas turbine turbine engine okay as you can see instead of volume now it is a pressure because now we are dealing with very high very high pressure okay so this is how to come out with the uh, Q in, Q out, and then thermal efficiency, and then isentropic compression. Okay, so uh, for gas turbine engine, uh, part uh, part of uh, uh, turbine uh, part of turbine work will be used to drive the compressed compressor okay so that's why uh, w turbine okay a very high power of uh, uh, power produced from the turbine part of that will be used for the uh, compressor okay so that's why we call it as a w uh, compressor and then this is w w net and then this ratio we call it as a backward ratio b w r backward ratio or r b Sometimes it is at RB equal to uh, W compressor divided by W turbine. Okay, so W compressor it is for the compressor work in compressor and then W turbine is work for the uh, in the turbine. Okay, so uh, this is that is basically uh, some in, uh, in, uh, information or introduction. Uh, for gas turbine, gas turbine engine. Okay, so uh, now we move to the next uh, part, which is the actual uh, gas turbine cycle. Okay, so uh, in actual, in uh, actual application, okay, in actual working environment, there are pressure drop. There are pressure drop during the heat addition and then pressure drop during the heat rejection okay so for the actual there are uh, pressure drop during heat addition and heat rejection okay so heat addition and heat heat rejection okay so what happened when the pressure is dropped so that we we will have a new uh, temperature okay we have a new temperature due to this pressure pressure drop okay so this can be represented by using the uh, ts ts diagram so as you can see here uh, the duration of an actual gas turbine cycle from the ideal Brighton cycle as a result of irreversibility. Okay, so as you can see, isentropic efficiency of the compressor and turbine. Okay, so isentropic efficiency. There are efficiency. Before this, we just assume that the compressor and uh, and turbine is uh, isentropic, and then the efficiency is 100%. 100% mean that s2 equal to s1 s3 equal to s s4 but for the actual 
uh, actual application there are pressure pressure drop so that uh, uh, we need to find the the efficiency is not 100 100 percent okay so the efficiency is not 100 100 percent so that's why as you can see here uh, 2s is isentropic uh, isentropic uh, compression and then a is refer to the actual okay actual for the compressor and then for the turbine as for the isentropic uh, uh, expansion and then for a isentropic expansion with the efficiency okay so that basically uh, to determine the efficiency for the compressor okay for the compressor here it is basically equal to uh, work for the uh, isentropic okay which is uh, we assume ideal and then work for the for the actual okay so this is basically equal to for the actual mean that 2s okay h uh, 2s minus h1 and then for actual h2a minus H, H1. Okay, R telephone because H to S equal to CP, CPT. So CP, T to S minus T1, CP, T to A minus T, T1. Okay, since it is constant, CP. So we uh, T temperature. Okay, we can determine temperature the actual temperature after the compressor consider considering the pressure drop in the in the compressor okay uh, normally we use this isentropic compression uh, efficiency uh, in order to calculate t2 t2a temperature at uh, the actual temperature for the uh, at the exit of the compression compression process uh, considering the pressure pressure drop okay same goes for turbine efficiency uh, isentropic efficiency for the turbine equal to because turbine is it is w actual divided by w isentropic okay so it is equal to h4a minus h1 is h3 Okay, 3 minus H4A divided by H3H4S. Okay, so equal to CP T3 minus T4A, CP T3 minus T4S. Okay, so basically uh, the same for isentropic efficiency for compressor we need to find the actual temperature at the exit of the uh, expansion process, which is T, T4A, okay? So basically, we use this equation in order to find the actual temperature at the exit of the compression process and the actual temperature for uh, uh, at the exit of the expansion process okay so this is basically uh, uh, what you need to know about the uh, about gas turbine uh, engine okay so i think uh, that's all for uh, introduction introduction for the gas power cycle or gas turbine engine and then in the next lecture I will show you how to analyze uh, for the gas turbine engine. Okay, so that's all and bye-bye.